Hey guys, I'm Tom at The Tech Chap and I'm here at Computex 2018 where ASUS have just announced their new ZenBook Pro laptops with this, a 5.5 inch Full HD IPS touchpad or what they're calling a screen pad. I've not seen anything like this before. You can mirror what's on the screen, you can use it as an extended display, check your calendar, use it as a calculator, control your music or YouTube, mark up PowerPoints or Excel spreadsheets. It's kind of crazy and it takes Apple's MacBook Pro touch bar to a whole new level. Now I'm not sure just yet if it's a bit of a gimmick or a genuine selling point, but you have to agree it does make the laptop stand out. You'll definitely turn a few heads if you pull this out in a Starbucks or on the train. But there's way more to the ZenBook Pro than just the screen pad. It comes in 14 or 15 inch sizes, with the larger model coming with up to an 8th gen Core i9 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, a 1TB SSD, and a GTX 1050 Ti graphics card, while the 14 inch tops out with an i7 and GTX 1050 Max-Q graphics card. The 15 inch also comes with a 4K touchscreen, which looks great and it's really color accurate, covering 100% of the Adobe RGB and 132% of the sRGB color gamut. So these laptops, particularly the 15 inch model, are definitely aimed at enthusiast content creators. People who need power, portability, and a color accurate screen. It's a really good looking laptop too, with a brushed metal body in what ASUS are calling a deep dive blue with rose gold color. It's got super thin bezels, we're looking at 83% screen to body ratio, and at 1.8 kilograms, the 15 inch weighs the same as the MacBook Pro 15. I've always liked the ZenBook Pro laptops, but they've always felt a little overshadowed by the excellent Dell XPS line. Side by side with the new XPS 15 9570, which do you prefer? The ZenBook is more powerful as the XPS uses a 1050 Ti Max-Q, whereas the ASUS has a full fat 1050 Ti. But I'll definitely be doing a proper comparison video when I get both laptops together back home in the UK. But clearly it's the screen pad which makes the ZenBook Pro stand out. And while you can always turn the screen off and simply never use it if you don't want to, it's a nice option to have and quite a cool feature to show off but it does impact the battery life. I'm not 100% on this, but the ASUS rep told me that we're looking at around 10 hours of battery from the ZenBook Pro 15 with the screen off, but just six hours with it on. That's a big hit in battery life for what could be just a gimmicky little extra feature, but we'll see, and I'll test this properly in my full review. Pricing and availability hasn't been 100% confirmed, but I've been told to expect the 15 inch model with an i7, 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gig SSD to come in at around 1,900 pounds, with an i9 version costing about 300 more at about 2,200 pounds. But we can expect both models to start shipping in Q3 this year. I really do like the new ZenBook Pro. I think the screen pad will help it stand out, but at its core, it's a beautifully designed laptop with some serious hardware under the hood, and it definitely gives the XPS a run for its money. But what do you reckon? Would you buy one? And do you think the screen pad is a neat feature or just a silly gimmick? Let me know in the comments. Make sure you click like and subscribe below if you want to see more videos like this and also more from me at Computex 2018. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time right here on The Tech Chat.